Today on Toy Habits Reviews, we have the numerical genius from the Motu Origins Rulers of the Sun line on the examination table. Toy Habits. And before we get into the review, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted to the latest reviews, news, and episodes when they drop. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits and we are coming at you from our examination room. I'm Michael and with me is my collector in crime, Larry. And today we are taking a detailed look at the Motu Origins Wave 10 Digitino figure. And let's start off at taking a look at the figure on the card. And he is on the Motu Origins burst card that has the Rulers of the Sun sticker right on the front. Yeah, kind of the uh, standard fare for these, right? Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I don't know. I, st I still like it. I, I think it's uh, it does block a little bit of your view of the figure. Um, but yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, you still get the, uh, you know, the, the logo and um, it's cool to see it on there. Yeah, it is. And I had no idea these figures existed when I was a kid. So it's actually kind of cool to see uh, them come out in Origins. And I know that people are split you know, you either love this line or you hate this subline. But on the back yeah. of the card, you know, it's cool. We can see the the card art and the fact that this thing glows in the dark, which is neat. Yeah, it is. Um, it's I, I always like glow in the dark stuff. I mean, it's maybe it's not something that uh, you do a whole lot with once the once the figures on the shelf necessarily. But uh, but yeah, it's fun. It's fun to play around with. So it's cool. Yeah, I love in the art that like Digitino is throwing numbers at mini comic drop jaw. <laughs> It's like it's such a <laughs> such a special power. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's uh, you know, they always they always have like uh, you know, interesting things for these uh, the characters to do. So like, this is his thing, and uh, it's cool. I didn't know anything about it before, so it's it's uh, fun to see what he does. Yeah, and funny. Um, we were talking about this earlier, and you were mentioning that you had found a vintage figure that on the sticker it says the shield glows in the dark, but on this it says the armor glows in the dark. Yeah, and I guess we're not sure whether, you know, that was just a typo back then, you know, that they just they just put shield and, and that's just what they were calling the armor. But it is interesting that, that this one says armor. Uh, it might might have been a fun kind of way to, to throw back to that vintage figure to put, you know, maybe shield and then armor in parentheses or something, you know, just to, as a kind of just a nod back to uh, to what was there previously. Yeah. And I don't know, I guess I guess part of me kind of thinks it'd be cool for these rulers of the sun figures to have more of that, that, that vintage art that they had yeah, um, rather than just the sticker. But, um, I, you know, I, I guess I, I think that they're trying to kind of work them into just a master's uh, line in general. So, um, but I just think that, you know, they did have a very distinctive, uh, you know, card for that, for that line. So, um, I don't know, just something to think about, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I, I wish they did too, but, um, you know, let's get this figure cracked open and take a closer look at him. All right. Now we have Digitino out of the package and it looks like they really nailed the vintage version of this figure. Yeah, it's crazy. This, uh, it just, it looks just like the old one. I mean, I, I think that, um, you know, even, even more so than some of the other releases we've gotten for the origins line, this one, um, to me, kind of all the all the coloring and everything looks the same. You know, we've seen we've seen some characters like Web Store, mm -hmm. um, you know, get a little different shading and coloring and things. And, and uh, Digitino looks looks basically just like he did, um, which is pretty cool. It is cool. I, I love the way that they did his hair sculpt because it actually gives him some definition. It's, it looks like it, they've kind of sculpted on various pieces and parts here, which actually gives it a little bit more style. And he's got a little pony in the back there. Yeah. Yeah. And they've, as far as like his facial features, I think he looks pretty close to the, to the original as well. I yeah. think they, they did a good job on the, uh, on the head sculpt. Cause you know, going from the uh, kind of the rubbery uh, material from, from the vintage one to the harder plastic here, um, they managed to capture the, the facial features as well. Yeah. They did a great job. And I think the, the armor looks fantastic. It came out really, really well. And I think it fits yeah. really nicely. It doesn't fit too snugly. And it's got just kind of one contact point down at the bottom where you can take it off. I don't know, it's it's, a, it's an odd design with the numbers and stuff. I, you know, I wonder, I, I haven't been able to find anything um, as far as like what the, 
you know, the significance is of the of the numbers or anything. But uh, if anybody knows, maybe throw some throw some comments our way on that one. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, there's really actually not a lot to his armor. Here. All right. And one of the cooler things about Digitino is that he comes with glow in the dark armor. And so we're going to dim the lights just to see what this looks like. And the armor actually really glows really well. I had only put this up against LED lights. And so I'm wondering if, you know, you actually put this up against an incandescent bulb, if it would glow brighter but it glows great yeah it's so funny with led bulbs i've noticed that too and it's like wonder what the i'm sure i'm sure that there's just like something about the brightness level of it i don't, I don't know but but yeah it's, it's cool it's i mean you can tell just looking at kind of the plastic that it would be that kind of plastic that really pops um and really gets a good glow to it so yeah it looks cool and i like I like that the numbers stand out when it's glowing. I yeah. think that's a cool part of it. Definitely. Bracers are cool. Uh, I actually like that the fact that they just kind of added some diamond design. They could have left that out and just made it yellow. But I think that's how he is on the vintage design, too. And the bracers are yep. the same on both hands. Yeah. yeah and the, the coloring looks good. I mean, I think that the uh, uh, paint application looks good. And I like the uh, I like the touch of blue on like the, the furry shorts. Mm -hmm. I think that kind of makes him stand out a little bit more. I think if you know, you need that kind of extra extra color on there just to, to give a little more detail. So, oh, yeah, because, yeah, there's really not much to the figure other than that. And around the back, you kind of get a fuller view of the the furry shorts and the belt that goes around. But yeah, I, I like the design that they have. And, you know, he just uses the stock Motu legs and the boots are actually kind of cool. They have a little star design on the bottom here too. Yeah. And I actually hadn't noticed that before, but yeah. And I mean, the boots, you know, it's like everything about this figure just really captures the look of the vintage one. Um, the only difference is just the articulation is the only thing that really kind of sets it apart and makes it look a little different because you know with that articulation at the ankle you do get a little different look out of the boots mm -hmm. but other than that they're pretty much spot on so yeah and he comes with his lobster claw weapon attachment and i really don't really don't know what to refer to this as but you know maybe clawful you know had had some had, had some hand in making his weapon at some point <laughs> It's it's so funny because every time I see it, I think of like walking through like, you know, Target or, or Walmart with with the kids or whatever and seeing like those those grabbers that yeah. all my kids always pick those up if they see one. Just those grabber things, you know, just a grabber toy. And it just it just makes me think of that for some reason. That's but, funny. Yeah, yeah, I, I cool. never it's, it's either that or a back scratcher, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, either one. It's, it's an uh, interesting weapon. It's it's unique. <laughs> it definitely is, and it actually is cool cuz now Sunman has a dude to pal around with and you know to have somebody sit with him on the shelf aside from attacking Pighead. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing, you know. I think uh the the rulers of the sun line, you know, it's it's kind of once it gets built out a little bit, it look better on the shelf cuz I've, you know, it's it's you know pretty sparse so far. Um, so I think getting some extra figures in there help it kind of be, uh, feel like more a part of that display. And actually, if you take a look at it, the boots, the bracers, and the furry shorts all share the same mold. So we're going to see a lot of this design in the future. As far as ratings, like, I mean, I don't usually give seven out of sevens on these things, but they really nailed the vintage design and there's really nothing to, to gripe about here. I mean, the paint apps are great. He looks great. He looks pretty much exactly like the vintage figure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, for me, I, I think I, I'd have to agree. I mean, I think it's, it's funny because like, um, it, it's overall kind of, kind of a boring figure, but as far as for the figure that it is, yeah, they nailed it. Then yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to agree. It's, a, it's a seven as far as, um, kind of capturing just what the, what the vintage figure was, so if you were a fan of the vintage Digitino, um, you know, I think you're you're definitely going to like this figure as well. Yes. And that wraps up our review of the Masters of the Universe Origins Digitino. So let us know what you think about this figure in the comments below. I'm Michael. And I'm Larry. And thanks for tuning into Toy Habits and dropping into our examination room. <laughs>